real estate in a minute. I'm George Mueller with Century 21 SGR. Today's topic, the East High Park neighborhood. This is neighborhood 52 of my alphabetical look at the diverse neighborhoods that make up the city of Chicago. The East High Park neighborhood is located within, you guessed it, the eastern portion of the High Park community. So right here where my cursor is. It's roughly bound by Hyde Park to the north, the lake to the east, 60th to the south, and then Lake Park Avenue to the west. Let's look at some housing statistics. Overall, with housing in East Hyde Park, it, you've seen a pretty good gain since January 2017 to where it currently sits just under 300000 On the other hand, one bedrooms have seen a bit of a drop since really July of 2018 to where they currently rest just over 175000 Two, three, and four bedrooms, on the other hand, have seen some steady gains, as you'll see. With the two bedrooms here averaging just under 215,000, a great gain since January 2017, where it was at 201,000. Three bedrooms, again, steady increase to where it currently rests, 260, just over 263,000. And then finally, four more bedrooms, a bit of a dip here, beginning, uh, we'll say, in March of 2020. But then, as you can see, starting to go back up in August of 2020, just over $425,000. Let's look at a fact about East Hyde Park. According to the Cultural Landscape Foundation, Promontory Point, located at 55th Street and the lakefront, is a man-made peninsula projecting into Lake Michigan. What's really interesting is, is it was created by, with, uh, sorry, the Works Progress Administration funding and labor following the 1933 and 34 World's Fair. This 12-acre landform was created with landfill and lined with steep reverberment of large limestone blocks. And that's real estate in a minute. Please feel free to reach out with any questions.